you are looking at a 10 billion US dollars time machine that will take us on a journey to the edge of the universe. A journey that will reveal how the universe looked just 100 to 250 million years after the Big Bang. A journey that will help us understand the formation of the first galaxies and most importantly a journey that will redefine our current understanding of the cosmos. You are looking at the largest and the most powerful space telescope built to date, the James Webb Space Telescope. But why is everyone referring to it as a time machine? What makes Webb so exciting? And how is it a better telescope than the iconic Hubble Space Telescope? Don't worry, I will explain everything. But before we move ahead, make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. This video is the second part of the James Webb Space Telescope. So if you haven't watched the first part, click on the i button about to watch it. When you go to a place away from city lights and look up at the dark skies, you see stars, planets, a few galaxies, nebula and most importantly the Milky Way. But the universe is not limited to what we see with naked eyes. It's home to a wide range of frequencies that go all the way from gamma rays to X-rays, ultraviolet rays, the visible region, infrared rays, microwaves and finally radio waves. That our eyes are limited to a very narrow part of the spectrum. The electromagnetic waves that we receive from distant stars and galaxies make up the most important way to study the cosmos. So the question is, eyes can't see the entire spectrum, how can we explore the vastness of the universe? Well, this is where advanced space telescopes come to our rescue. Although we have launched many space telescopes that work in different regions of the spectrum, Hubble is the largest and the most versatile telescopes of all. As a result, Hubble provided extensive insight into the universe from objects as close as to the moon to the most remote galaxies. However, what Hubble studies was primarily at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. It had some infrared capabilities. Still, when it comes to web, it's an infrared observatory that will mainly look at the universe in the infrared region with some capacity in the red and yellow part of the visible spectrum. This means that Webb will help us observe even those distant areas that were out of Hubble's reach. But how can an infrared telescope offer a deeper insight into the universe past than the optical? Why are infrared observations so important to astronomy? Infrared rays are nothing but an object signature in the form of heat. Although we cannot see infrared radiation with our eyes, we can feel it. For instance, the heat from the sun is infrared radiation that we can feel with our skin. The electromagnetic spectrum shows that the infrared rays have a longer wavelength than the visible rays. The universe is full of regions that contain dust. Stars and planets have just started forming also lie hidden behind cocoons of dust. Even when you look at the Milky Way, you will notice dark dust clouds obscuring much of the galaxy. The problem is that interstellar dust absorbs most of the visible light due to its short wavelength. This offers a hindrance in having deep insight into the hidden regions engulfed in thick clouds of dust. But as I already told you, infrared rays have a longer wavelength than visible rays. Hence, the infrared light can easily penetrate the dust shroud to reach us. The James Webb Space Telescope will cover the wavelengths between 0.6 micrometers to 28 micrometers. This will help Webb look over 13.5 billion years back in time, thereby providing images of the first galaxies formed and observing unexplored planets around distant stars. Are you wondering why I am saying it will look back in time? Well, that's because light travels at a finite speed. For example, it takes 500 seconds for the light from sun to reach us. 
This means the sun we see is how it looked 8 minutes and 19 seconds ago. From earth, we can never know what the sun looks in real time. That's how everything we see is in the past. No one knows what the universe currently looks like. Space observations are free from atmospheric absorption of infrared light and offer a far accurate view compared to ground telescopes. However, there are several constraints by which infrared telescopes need to abide and Webb is no different in this case. The infrared telescopes are specifically designed to minimize the amount of heat produced by them. Hence, Webb has to be kept at significantly low temperatures to make precise observations. Webb's mirror will be kept at a temperature of minus 233 degrees Celsius to shield it from the heat of the sun. In addition, the telescope has a 5 layer sun shield the size of a tennis coat that will eventually weaken up the heat from the sun by more than a million times. A successor to the Hubble and the Spritz Space Telescopes, James Webb is expected to lead a new era of astronomical observations. How will the James Webb Space Telescope discover the secrets of early universe? Using quasars. Quasars are very bright and active supermassive black holes that are billions of times of the mass of the sun. They are normally located at the center of the galaxies. These are the brightest objects in the universe. Shortly after its launch later this year, a team of scientists will train the James Webb Space Telescope on the most distant and luminous quasars. They will study the properties of these quasars and their host galaxies and how they are interconnected during the first stages of galaxy evolution in the very early universe. They will also use the quasars to examine the gas in the space between the galaxies. Like this, the web could discover the early universe. More than 13 billion years ago, when the universe was very young, the view was not at all clear. Neutral gas between galaxies made the universe opaque to some types of light. Over hundreds of millions of years, the neutral gas between these galaxies became charged, thus making it transparent to ultraviolet light. This period is known as the era of reionization. But what led to the reionization that created the clear conditions detected in the much of the universe today? James Webb Space Telescope will peep deep into the space to gather more information about this major transition in the history of the universe. The Webb is extremely sensitive space telescope, able to detect very low levels of light. So with this, we'll reach quite near the Big Bang. The golden mirror of Webb consists of 18 different segments which will unfold once it reaches the L2 Lagrange point, the orbit in which it will be revolving around the Earth. It will be one of the most interesting part of the mission as it will fly off the Earth being densely packed. Do you know why the web is said to be so powerful? That's because it's an infrared telescope and it's wide range which will help us reach near the Big Bang. The mysteries related to the Big Bang could be solved. The web could also completely solve the mystery of nothingness, which would be something that no one even thought of. The mystery of the mysterious force which is causing the expansion of the universe, that is dark energy, could also be solved. And it could also solve one more mystery. That is actually the question, what is outside the observable universe? I am sure that this question would have come to your mind at least once. But because you don't have any proof, you forgot about this. Probably no one would have even thought that Webb could even solve this mystery. The date when it will be launched is any time after 31st October this year 2021. If you want to know what is nothingness, click on this video. And don't forget to watch the first part if you didn't. Subscribe for more interesting videos.